Hey guys, this is Ugly Chicks from 7cents.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very, very, very simple signature. This is where all your signatures will start, and from there you can build on. Well, first, uh, if you're uh, reading the whole thread that I posted, uh, you have to have a render. Uh, the render is a uh, image that's have that the background's been cut out, cut out of. So I have a big folder. So you want to go to File, and then Open, and see I have a big folder of everything I've done. I'm gonna find a cool render. I'm gonna use an M and M one. Use this one. So here's a render. This is what a render should look like when you first. Uh, when you first download it off the site and you download it put it on your computer and then open it in Photoshop so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase this watermark and we want to uh, make our canvas our canvas will also be the size that our tag will be and to do that you do file new and then you enter your width and height um, I usually use 500 by 200 for the size, but uh, since we're starting off here, we also want to start off with a smaller canvas. So let's do 420 by 120. Okay, and then you can name it something. These are the just make sure you have it on pixels for these guys, but you can put a transparent background or a white background. It doesn't matter that much. That's totally your choice. So click OK. So there's our canvas. That's also what the signature, the size of the signature, will look like. So now we want to transfer our render onto our signature. Okay? So to do that, we do use this tool right here to select and we just drag across the whole thing. See? We have everything selected here. And then click Command C, or you can also go up to Edit, Copy, and now go over back to your canvas and click Control V or Edit Paste. And there we go. There's our render. You know, it's a little bit too big, and also we can't see it, so we want to resize it. To do that, we do Control T. And now we have our, our render selected, and we can move it around our signature. Now, to resize it, you just grab one of these corners and drag. So there it is. Okay, so there's your render. Um, don't worry about where you put it too much, since we're just starting. But I suggest uh, it'll come with practice with just resizing and good image placement. So I'm just going to put mine right there. That'll be okay. But now we want to add a background. We don't, we don't just want our background to be white, right? So to do that, whenever you're adding something new, I suggest you go down here and press create a new layer. Okay. So layers are on top of each other, of course. So um, to add a background... We'll go here and we'll go to Paint Bucket Tool. Okay, let, and um, when you first start, you want to have your colors coordinated so they're all the same. So to do that, you click on the color box down here, and let's uh, choose a color from our render. Let's do that color. So what you do is you have your little thing right there, and you just click somewhere on your render, and click OK. Now just click on your canvas, and you'll have a canvas. But since we put that on layer two it covers up our render and we don't want that so we'll come back down here and we'll drag that under our second layer and now we have our background and our render on top of it that's why renders are so helpful because you can do that so now that we have these two uh, we want to add some designs well, we want to add something cool just make it make it us make it whatever you want it to be so I'm just gonna keep it really simple here and I'm gonna add some brushes so to do that Oh. To do that, you just come over here to your brush tool and you'll select that. Over here is the size, the size that you want it to be, so that big, and then there's that big. And what you want to do is you just gonna you just want to kind of keep the flow. You want to have you want your signature to have some sort of flow, so it's all going in one direction. So I'm gonna choose a nice brush. Now also uh if, if there's a lot of questions about it, I'll also post how to download brushes and put them in your Photoshop. So I'm going to use, let's use, uh, let's use uh, this one. So there's our brush. 
Okay, it's a splatter brush. Now we don't want it to have be the same color as the background, so once we're going we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click a different color. Okay. And now we also we also don't want this. I mean, no. Remember when we uh whenever you want to add something new, you want to do a new layer. So we don't want this layer to be on top of that layer or it'll cover up the render. But now once we click, it looks like that. So you have the, the you have the brush. It goes background, brush, render, and that will be good. Now, just add a couple more, whatever you guys want. This, this, this part is totally free. Just express yourselves, whatever you want. I do a lot of Eminem Sigs just because he's my hero. So there you go. I like that. It's kind of good. Good way to, this is always just a good way to start. When you first start, you also, uh, a lot of tutorials will tell you to add effects to your render you don't want to do that you never want to add effects that go around the render or change what it looks like but if um, so we're, I'm not going to show you to do this now but there's plenty of other tutorials if you want to try and do that so now we're just going to add text so you go over here and click the text tool and now you have your little text marker and you just click where you want the text to be and then of course up here how big you want it to a little bit bigger there you go. Oh, that's too big. And now over here, your text. See, I also have a lot of text that I've downloaded off the internet, but I'm just going to click a cool one. I'll use this one. And then just type in whatever you guys want. And there you go. And then just drag it back on. So there's there's a SIG. Um, we also, uh, let's add a border. So to add a border, you just start a new layer once again and you're gonna select the whole one and then go edit stroke and then here you go see how big you want it what color I'm gonna make sure it's black and then click OK and there you go there's the SIG uh, really easy just to get started if you follow more and more tutorials you get better you'll get better and trust me you will improve and you're gonna love Photoshop once you get past the hard parts alright guys thanks for watching